Hi guys and welcome to another tournium, Tournament Champions Squad Builder by myself, Bates and 87. Now, we are going to build a silver one this time round. Some of you may have seen it on Twitter already. And it's going to feature one of the Team of the Season players which I was lucky enough to pack. That guy is obviously the striker. Now, if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, make sure you check out G2A.com. Their link is down below in the description. And there is one more other link in the description as well. That is a link to Castro's charity stream, which he should be doing currently now and some, until unless some it's gone wrong but I doubt it very much so the link to ja um, to Castro's charity stream is there if you guys are up early in the morning and you do want to check that out if you could try and hit over 5,000 likes that'd be awesome subscribe if you are not and let's get on and build this team so as always, with it being the tournament, tournament champion squad builder, guys, we are going to be doing a um, the 50k pack we got for free later on in the um, later on today. So later on tonight, there is three videos today. This one, um, a best possible, and also a pack opening later. So make sure you check that out. So in net, we've gone with Inform Carrius in the centre back position on the right hand side. We actually go with Bundesliga. No, left hand side we do go with Bundesliga as they do sort of have some very very nice silver centre backs. The main one being this guy. Rudy if you have not used him I recommend doing so because he is ridiculous and he's not extinct as well so you can definitely take advantage now especially with all the packs being opened on ultimate team in the left back position we go with I think it was it wasn't Bornish it wasn't him it was Roush. We went with Roush. And the reason we went with Roush is to fit in this informed centre midfielder, which is informed die D. Um, the Ivory. Uh, this was actually a team in the tournament informed, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, ridiculous informed. And it's, I'm glad I got to use him again. In the uh, right hand side, we do actually move to the Serie A this time round. And we go with a non rare silver this time round. And we go with Antonini, 77 pace centre back. And in the right back position, we go with Abate. And then in the centre midfield position, we do go with an old school player who you guys may or may not remember it is Lazari very very decent stats not as good as he used to be but we thought I'd try him anyway and then we finish the rest of the team guys in the BPL and England so yeah let's set it up centre midfielder in form punching originally I think he's originally a winger converted to a centre midfielder for the um Informed version, so we thought we'd try him out. Left forward position, we go with Inform, um, normal Sinclair, sorry. Right forward position, we go with Dyer. And then to finish off the team in as a whole, we go with team of the season, Wilson. Now, I said this guy's name wrong lo so many times, but Wilson, 96 pace, 80 shoot in 75 Julian. That is a gold card, basically, in this team. And it looks very good. It's a tournament champion team, guys. And let me go and show you the highlights we did get with it. Leave a like, create, and subscribe if you're not. Go and check out Castro's stream. His link's down below. And with that said, let's go and have a look at the highlights. So, originally, guys, I was a bit sceptical of using Callum Wilson, but... He looked alright. He didn't have the four star skills, which is usually what I go near. When I build a silver squad builder, I like to go near the four star skills, but he doesn't have any. He's got three star skills, three star weak foot, high, medium work rates, 96 pace. That was what I was using him for, and especially with the left forward and right forward next to him with 88 pace with Sinclair and uh, 92 pace with Dyer. You know, on the counter attack, this team was going to be fucking deadly. Now, with the informed versions of the team, guys, if you did want to replace informed punching um, with an English centre midfielder, you could do the likes of Clay Beverly, you got Shelby and uh, other players like that. Lazari is pretty good. Now, a lot of people originally couldn't guess the fact that I put Lazari in the team. They thought, why do I put him in there? But 71 pace, 78 passing, 74 Julian. Pretty good player for hanging around the centre midfield role. When you've got the pace in defence already with Rausch, Rudiger, uh, Antonini and Abate... It's a difficult defence to break down. Anybody, even the Koreans, uh, give me a fight uh, in this tournament. I'm away to winning the tournament as well. I go against a full um, South or North Korean team. It was fast as fuck, but this team ripped it to bits. Very strong in defence. He did score one goal, but defensive error by myself. But apart from that, it was pretty good. So, I do have one more squad builder in the bag, guys. If we can try and hit over 5,000 likes, I will do a bronze one. And I will do that on Monday morning uh, for you guys to enjoy. Um, another tournament champion squad builder uh, with the bronze team of the season, Taliso, who I managed to actually purchase off the market as of 10 minutes ago. So, um, if you guys ha are going to try the silver uh, tournament uh, to get a free team of the season pack, let me know what you got in your pack, or um, if you do want to see what we get in ours, make sure you check out the later on video from today, and you will be able to see what we get in our pack. If it's better than yesterday's, that'd be awesome, and if you have missed the gold team of the season, 
um, tournament champion, make sure you do go and check that video out as well. The gold one was probably a little bit better than this, a little bit more expensive as well. Um, but we have got three informed players on one team this season, and the rest are pretty good anyway. Now, informed die, guys. If you've not used him, he is the player of this team, as always. Um, pretty good. Callum Wilson, I'll probably give him an 8 out of 10. Just, he's a pace. He's a pace monster, and he is a low-rated 8. I'd say he's a low-rated gold card by the looks of his statistics. Now... The goalkeeper, silver goalkeeper, is going to struggle with anyway. But Karius was pretty good. He did concede a few goals, mainly um, when it came to shooting down the middle. He let a lot of them in. But apart from that, it was a very straightforward run into the final and actually winning it 4 0 in the uh, last couple of. Um, yeah, in the last game, we won 4 0. Pretty um, standard pace abuse team, this is, but a quite an expensive one as well. And quite a decent hybrid. Like, even if you didn't want to use Callum Wilson um, or the left wing right forward, you could easily hybridise it up because um, with the centre the midfielders and the centre backs and the goalkeeper it's already got enough links to it anyway so you can mix the uh, front three and the centre midfielder up as long as you've got enough links to the centre mid so if you have enjoyed the video guys a like rating would be very much appreciated as always as I keep saying go and check out Castro's stream his link will be in the channel today um, for you guys to go and check out his stream and show some support in the earlier hours of the morning and uh, remember to check out the best possible coming in a couple of hours and also the pack opening coming on later on today actually I might do the bronze one yeah if we can try and hit over 5,000 likes guys I'll do the bronze Taliso squad builder um, for tomorrow morning so you guys can check it out now here is a clip go up, coming up of us winning top and drop a like, rate, and subscribe, and uh, until later on today, guys, have a very, very nice rest of your day, and enjoy Castro's stream, and donate as much to charity as you possibly can. Bye-bye.